In this video, we're going to add all of our articles. Now there are 12 articles to add, and that's a fair bit. So I'm going to suggest a couple of things. Go ahead and take a note of this screen and get the names of the 12 articles you're going to build, and then probably just use a lorem ipsum generator or go to lipsum.com and just throw in some dummy text. I'm actually going to create some text from OS Training's website for the Joomla 3 book at the link on your screen. So here's the plan. We have four categories. We're going to add 12 articles. We won't worry about images for now. We'll do that in an upcoming video. So head on over to your site, click on Articles, and you'll see we have none here. The Article Manager is where we'll manage all of our articles, of course. Just before we do that, let me cover the buttons here at the top. One of the important things in Joomla is to always use the navigation you're provided. Don't use the back and forward buttons in your browser. That will lock articles and modules, and you'll need to unlock them in order to continue. New obviously creates a new article or a new whatever you're in. Edit allows you to select an article and, of course, then edit it. Publish allows you to toggle the publishing settings of an article. Similarly, unpublish unpublishes an already published article. And if you click Feature, it will feature a selected article or unfeature. Archive is a special kind of article that doesn't get shown on your site, but you're not ready to delete it yet. Check-in allows you to select articles that have been locked and check them in. Batch allows you to do exactly what it sounds, batch certain actions for articles, and I'll demonstrate that. And then, of course, trash means trash to delete an article. We'll cover the Options button later on. It's how you set up your global options for all of your articles. Click on New. And the first one we want to create is Joomlaville Overview. Now, if you head over to joomlaexplained.com, slide all the way down and click on Chapter 4, there's some text here that you can use. Grab the content from these articles. So here's the sample Joomlaville overview text. I'm just going to copy that and paste it into my article. Now, before you paste this in, we're using the tiny MCE WYSIWYG editor that comes with Joomla. And one of the limitations is that if we just paste from a web page or, for instance, a Microsoft Word, we're going to make quite a mess. If I paste that in from that website and then take a look at the source code, these aren't just plain paragraph tags anymore. It's including all of the margin, fonts, and font size information. I have one of two choices here. I can paste it in as plain text, or I can clean this up manually. Frankly, with TinyMCE, I find it easier to just paste it in as plain text. So I'm going to undo that, click this link here to show the source code, and paste that in. Now, although that looks like it has paragraphs in it, it actually doesn't. So now all I have to do is put the cursor where I want and press Enter. And now Joomla inserts the paragraph tags for me. And that's what you want. You don't want all the stuff that websites, and especially Microsoft Word, throw into your articles. So that's a quick tip for using TinyMCE. The next step, then, is to select a category. You'll notice that title and category are the only two things that have asterisks next to them, indicating that they're required fields. So go ahead and change General to About, and click Save and New. Now at this point, we're just going to get the articles in. We're going to clean them up and do a lot more with them in just a minute. The next one is Joomlaville Location. So I'm going to copy that text. Again, you can just set up a Joomlaville Location article with lorem ipsum text if you want. Joomlaville Location. And once again, I'm going to get the source code, paste that in, and then add my paragraphs here. Click Save and New. You know what? I forgot to do the category. Don't worry, I'm going to show you a trick in just a little bit. Head back over and now grab the history text. Joomlaville history. Source code, paste, and then add my paragraphs in. 
One of the things you'll find as you're building a Joomla site, it's always best to have your content prepared before you start doing this, or just type it in either way. All right, let's select our category and put it in the About category. So we have three articles now. Click Save and Close. And you'll note that if I look at my three articles here, they have IDs, the date they were created, who created them, the access, and the general information, including the title, the alias, and the category they're in. You'll note I forgot to put the second article in the correct category. I have two ways to fix this. One of the tricks that I have, I just put all of my articles in, say, the general category, and then categorize them later. It's actually a lot faster. For instance, if I had 10 articles to put into the About category, I would just choose all the articles and click Batch. And then I would move them into the About category and click Process. And now all of my articles would be in the correct category. That's the Batch function in Joomla, and I love it a lot. All right, in the next video, we'll continue getting our articles set up.